bla 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 bla. Right. Oh. I forgot it only cocks in one direction. It doesn't go. Right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, Dragon Ball Super in this uh, discussion. Uh, it's. Do we need to catch up on anything else from that? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Technically. But I feel like all those episodes are insignificant in comparison to what just went down this one. <laughs> um, I don't know, because in the episodes that we missed, we had Legendary Kale. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, scratch that. Aside from like the previous episode, from what we're talking about now, that was also very significant. Otherwise, this has got to be like the best episode that I've seen of Super. The, the mix-up of, like, of, like, I guess this grand-scale fighting... And the comedy, like, added to it was, like, very well balanced in this one. I think it's, it's it all make, it all works for the fact that Universe 2 is kind of something you shouldn't take seriously. Mm-hmm. I think that's just, like, the main thing about it. <laughs> We're number two! We're number two! <laughs> but, uh, I guess if we want to talk about, like, the previous episodes then from what we didn't cover, that would be... I mean, yes. Probably Kale. shouldn't have closed that tab. That's fine. Um, I can, um, yeah, yeah, you can just do that. And just scroll down. It's what you do. Uh, go back up again. Super, super. And yeah, scroll all the way down to that. But that one, I mean, like the previous episodes was just like a whole bunch of fighting, and I think where we left off was somewhere when. A whole universe eight or seven got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. So it's from that point on that um, we saw Krillin. Right, Krillin. Enter beast mode. Krillin was in there working, and then he got kicked off. So sad. I don't know if that was who did he get kicked off by. Was it the hit? other fr- other Frieza? Oh, it was other Frieza. Okay, yeah, I'll watch out for that. Because it might. Uh, but yeah, it was other Frieza that knocked him out because he was just. He kind of like sneaked behind his back to do it. In all fairness, I think that's what he had coming to him anyway. Um, well, as you're fixing that, um, so that episode we haven't covered, which was Krillin. The following episode after that was just seeing a little bit of Kale and the rest of the other Saiyans from the Universe 6. And that was really cool. I liked, I liked a little bit of that over all the things I've seen so far in the, in the power, Tournament of Power. Which was like seeing how Kale could control it. It started off with just uh, Khalifa. Was it her name? Khalifa? Yeah, Khalifa. Khalifa? Khalifa? She thought she was like my top shit essentially. And it turns out that she had a lot more to learn. Especially like without learning Super Saiyan 2. Um, TLDR, she becomes Super Saiyan 2. Again. But um, yeah, she did do for a brief moment. But uh, Kale... Uh, in the later episode learned how to control her uh, rage and I guess what triggered it was the fact that she denied herself and these previous transformations were mainly just uh, because she had she wanted attention from you know senpais and like essentially um, but in this one it was comes from more of a pure intent have you seen Kaiser Neko I think Kaiser yes he's the one that voices Goku yeah um, have you seen his videos on on it Oh, does he talk about this? Yeah. He oh, talks cool. about um the different type of Saiyans and like what the next Saiyan might be. Oh, okay. On how like why Super Saiyans are yellow, God Saiyan is red, red and, and then, then the other one is blue, and why the legendary Super Saiyan is green. Yeah. Um his analysis on it was that with yellow, it is very much a anger controlled thing. It's based off of the seven chakras. Oh, okay. And how the yellow chakra, I forgot where it's like based off of, but um, I think it's this. Yeah, if you can like pull it up real yeah, quick. Yeah, the... Just like his reasoning and it's everything. Like, oh, I can. You can grab fucking... it, you can grab it, you got it. Yeah, I, I could not get my hands on it. All right, so welcome to the side jump again. Okay, so it finally makes sense why there's like all these different colors and what in some like hidden meanings behind it, whether it's true or not it kind of makes sense yeah Moscow did a real good job of kind of making a claim and backing it up with with good enough evidence yeah it's very comparative that you can see it although I have to say that if Tian becomes Super Saiyan Purple that'd be the greatest thing I'd ever see 
<laughs> but right now we're focusing on like the newest episode, which mm-hmm. is, which is like very balanced on the. I think I've said before that it's very balanced on action as well as like the comedy of it. So, Universe Two, which I've seen very little of it since the start of the tournament, mm-hmm. uh, just comes in here with like this Sailor Moon like levels of transformation. Oh my God. With seventeen completely interrupting them. Yeah, they're about halfway through it, and then they just get blown the fuck up. <laughs> She's like, "What did you do that for?" Like, they were wide open, so of course I went for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and should, the, should I not have? They were in the middle of a transformation, dude. Even you don't do that. Even in the middle of like all that universe, like eleven dude comes in, like, no, I, no, I totally get it. You should keep doing that transformation. I understand. I support it. It's justice. And what you did, swine, is unforgivable. Okay, here I am. <laughs> he went back to his business. And the best part is that they did the entire animation over yeah, again. They completely restarted their entire time. They didn't pick up where they left off. No, they started the whole damn thing over again. There was a point where I... We both hoped that 18 just came in there and interrupted them yeah, again. Yeah, 18 did it and they had to do it a third time. But it didn't happen like that, still, suddenly. Uh, so, uh, I think what happened was that they went through a fa- transformation. One was, like, really big. The yeah. other two were, they were all right. Brienne became big. Um, one of them became Wolf Girl. Yeah, the blue one became Wolf Girl. And then Yellow. Rosa became, or Roz, became, became um, a skinny boo, I would say. Yeah, or she, even she just became, like, a taijutsu master. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of her. I think she was fine Goku or something? Yeah. Yeah, so just like... Speaking of which... Yeah. That was a good cut, because it was like... Yeah, 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 and like... Oh. And he goes like fast, like... Yeah. He's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. And what's kind of cool with her, just kind of focusing on her a little bit, is that mm-hmm. her fists were strong enough to become like energy itself, and then... Yeah, Goku blocked all of them except for one, which had like a different like principle, like its own, um, I guess its own motive of attack. And the fact that like it's highlighting her mastery in like martial arts or something kind of some kind of fighting yeah. technique where she's she and her energy itself is like can be manipulated, can be like very calm but also very aggressive. And he saw that in that little light, little little ball of energy that just kind of halted in moments. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a really good one. I like that. Um, I would say 17 uh, really stole the show in this episode mm-hmm. with one interrupting the girls and also just kind of being who he is, which is a ranger who doesn't really care about other people. <laughs> He was up against the wolf girl, and like this girl was like very aggressive in her attacks, very fast, mm-hmm. uh, going on about like I got hunt my prey, you're my prey now. Prince not supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. It was really yeah, I liked Seventeen's episode. I felt like oh, well, I actually it, never really it really it. showcased what he was in Dragon Ball Z, which was just a menace. Yeah. It's weird how they kind of adopt him now. Um, I don't really seen the up older episodes of him like in Super, but definitely Z like he was that character you had to watch out for specifically. Mm-hmm. Like he had like more of an edge than eighteen did. Yeah, he's it's, he's stronger than eighteen. Yeah, like it's a confirmed thing that seventeen is stronger than eighteen, mm. and we're seeing he has like way more of a killer instinct than she does. That's true. But in the same sense, I like how in this episode he doesn't care. Yeah. Like, half that fight, his hands stayed in his pockets. And, like, his face when he's, like, he's down there kind of defeated. He's like, oh. He's just like, huh. Need help? So, oh, no. Yeah, no. It's, oh, no, I don't need help. I just have to actually, like, fight this thing. I have to be serious about it. Okay. And he just went down. He knocked down two people. Took took care of, the like, the menace that was the flyer. And then mm-hmm. took care of, like, his actual battle. And, um, yeah, so it was a nice, um, episode in the fact that, like, we saw, like, a whole bunch of, like, comedic effect, like, added into this. And then see one of our characters having, like, a lot of spotlight and just showing, like, how overpowered he really is. He stood on, like, I guess the sun of that universe. Yeah. 
and then like shot something of equal like brightness of that sun. Close to the close to the same di- diameter too. Yeah, he just a giant ass energy beam. And I guess it makes sense. He has an infinite source of power for that. So. That's that's so OP. And they and the androids brought it up like I guess that's our advantage of not getting tired. We just don't get tired. We have unlimited energy. So it's cool. I like how oh eighteen really didn't care about much of anything except when Krillin got knocked out. Yeah, that's when she was like. Oh shit! <laughs> but now that she's like, he's already taken care of. It's like, okay, don't really care. But I guess I'll have to do something. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, I'm just like thinking, how frightening would it be if Goku and Vegeta were androids? That it would be where they just had infinite energy. It's like, well, I'm gonna spend the rest of existence as Super Saiyan Blue. It could Kyle Ken times twenty. And then whatever comes after that, yeah, probably, just like, yeah. Just like, oh, okay. Squish. Squish. Finger gun dead. Pinky gun dead. Remember when, like, the episode, like, Gohan and, like, Goku controlling the Super Saiyan 1 forms mm-hmm. at all times? Yeah. Psh, oh, psh, oh, psh. Uh, well, I, I guess we were not having dinner. <laughs> uh, that was, this was a really solid episode with, like, kind of everyone chiming in. But it all like, kind of like came together for like, because it was Universe 2. Mm-hmm. And just like their whole gimmick being like, uh, just Sailor Magical Girls. Magical Girls, Sailor Moon. I'm surprised that Roshi like kept his composure. Well, he spent an entire like three episodes raping Poir. Oh god. But he has, he has complete control now. So, mm-hmm. oh my god, like. After everyone like split up in Universe Seven just to fight their own battles, Roshi had like one little like last minute line and just like jumped and immediately dodged like whatever came at him behind. Yeah, I don't know if that, that was probably on purpose, but that was like I want to see him like legitimately fight. I mean, we saw a little bit of that. Yeah, a small episode. little thing in the previous episode, episode one hundred one, with uh, him and Tien doing a doing kind of combo attack. That was really where cool. he does he did like a solar flare type attack, right? No, he. He mo- mobilized the enemy with like a oh, static yeah, shock like attack. A light- he hit him with like a lightning strike and, or what is it, shockwave? It was a shockwave type of attack. Uh, hit him Tien- with shockwave and then Tien hit him with a the improved, sh- um, uh, Tien- improved uh, Kikoho. That's really cool. Like, Kiko, uh, fuck yourself. Kiko, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, uh, as far as that, it's like, it seems like Universe 2 is gonna still hang in there for an episode or two. I see them being eliminated pretty soon, though. I think they'll probably be eliminated, like, not by Universe 7. Probably. But it's just gonna be a thing that happens in the background. Like, a lot of people from other universes have already been, like, wiped out mm-hmm. way more than we've seen. Yeah. So I think they're just gonna kind of go in passing against someone else. Yeah. Cause it seemed like only them three were, like, really into fighting... Universe 7, everyone else is kind of scattered fighting everybody else. Mm-hmm. I would say that definitely Universe 6 would be like one of the second to last uh, group standing. Mm-hmm. And the Universe 11 will be like the last one before Universe 7 should take the uh, thing. I told you how I thought it would end, right? Yeah, if it was like... Well, I mean, there's different ways of how to go about it. Like, it was a time's up, right? Yeah. Like time The limit. way I saw it was um, it's probably going to end with I would say, like, um, I think Topo, Jiren, and then Goku, Gohan, maybe and probably Vegeta. Vegeta. Most like it's most likely gonna be them three. Maybe Piccolo. Maybe Piccolo will be there. What about Frieza? Do you think Frieza would like do anything or like maybe purposely drop out? I think Frieza and oh, what is his name? Not Chill. Not chill, not cooler. Frost. Uh, Frost. I think Frieza and Frost are going to have a skirmish. And something's going to happen. And something's going to happen to Frieza. I think Jiren is going to take out Frieza. Oh, wow. I think if yeah. anything, Jiren would take out Frieza. Um, Frieza would take out Frost. And then as Topo, Jiren, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and probably Piccolo are fighting it out, mm-hmm. time's going to end and we're going to win by default. 
Yeah, just by like the the highest number of people. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes like, sense. Like I really, I don't see Goku beating Jiren, and if Goku can't beat Jiren, then Universe Seven loses. So the only way I see it where we win is times up, and we just happen to have more people. Yeah, that's true. In that case, that seems like a much more like well like thought out type of like story where, I mean, that's kind of how I feel. The story should go, but like knowing Dragon Ball, uh, Go- Dragon Ball Goku's gonna overpower <clears throat> Jiren and he's gonna win. Yeah, but I would really like it if Goku can't beat Jiren and he wins by by um by the tournament ending and him having more people on his side mm-hmm. and Goku never reaching satisfaction because he never got to beat someone that was stronger than him. <laughs> Turn Super Saiyan purple. Perfect. The plan's complete. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's much better as far as like giving more like leeways to what more episodes could be about, especially with Goku. Ooh, because I think that if that that creates like more of a goal for Goku in mind, so like that part of his character is no longer lacking, so he has more of a purpose like yeah. in the series instead of just like hey, I'm just gonna get stronger and I just will be stronger. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's I think it'd be better off that way. I think. F- I don't think the tournament's gonna finish. Like, you think Frieza's gonna do something? Frieza's gonna attack Zenosama and end up fighting the Grand Priest. Wow. I think. And I think the whole tournament's gonna get called off because the Grand Priest loses. Wow. That'd be interesting. Like, because, like, there's enough, like, significance in Frieza as far as, like, his upbringing right now to not, not, be, to not be ignored. I think his line in the in um I think it's episode ninety seven mm-hmm. when Kale first goes beast mode mm-hmm. when he says I'll have you I'll have you uh, kneeling to me yeah I'll have all of you kneeling to me there has to be significance to that yeah he has to be plotting something he's already like making connections with Frost. Already, he's already like tried and negotiating with like another universe. Was which one was it? Was that four? That was, um, I think maybe. I don't know. I forget. We'd have to look it up again. But yeah, he's always trying to like make negotiations, negotiations, and he he's doing that because of like his situation already. Mm-hmm. What's he, he What's he gonna do? Be dead? I guess. So. I think for him, anything is better than hell. That's true. His hell, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. It's a really good episode, I would say. Just, like, in general, the action, comedy, just, like, meshed together very well. Um, it felt, there. I felt like there was some significance in this universe than other ones. Mm-hmm. Mainly because I'm pretty sure every other universe got a showcase earlier on. And this one hasn't? Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I never really watched all Super, but... This one showed quite enough for me to get like kind of a synopsis of what these guys are about. Mm-hmm. So far, we've seen two, nine, seven, or a bit of 11. two, nine, six, eleven, and I think that's about it. What about one? Or they are good? And then I think four, if that's the one that attacked. That, that, I that think so. The assassination. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't see their warriors yet. Okay. They're just still doing things. Mm. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty much everything until like the next episode. Because that one's with like Ultimate Gohan doing something. Piccolo's also going to be part of it. It's so, going to be whatever's, whatever's past Ultimate Gohan. I, I can't wait to see Because remember, they're la- the last thing we heard from Gohan and Piccolo with their training is, I want you to surpass your ultimate form. Yeah. That's going to be, oh my God. I like how Gohan gets his own, like, route to take. Mm -hmm. Like, he always had, like, the potential to, like, surpass Goku. But, like, of course, he's a little bit falling behind by that due to family and everything. But now he has all the time in the world now to... He had every excuse to say, fuck off, Videl. Bye, Pan. I'm gonna go do push-ups for six months. (laughs) Push-ups and sit-ups. With some apple juice. 100 push-ups. 100 sit-ups. Pull-ups and 10-kilometer run. Balanced meals and no AC or heat. 
I would love to see. <laughs> I would love to see actually Saitama like in this fight <laughs> and win. <laughs> Little do you know, Zenosama is just Saitama in a mask. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then he fights. He's <laughs> like, I I didn't hold this tournament of power for you guys to survive. I had this tournament of power so I could find the strongest thing for me to fight in all of the universes. Sounds like something he would do. <laughs> I would... You know what? I gotta look back at that, like, original manga with, like, Vegeta versus Saitama. Well, uh, quote-unquote, versus. Yeah. Because oh, that was really good. <laughs> hey, I fought him, but he's he's a he's an anime character. <laughs> what you fought him? Well, I mean, they've shown a crossover before, but I guess that's kind of the same. Like, um, uh, what's the word? Company? I guess they've mm -hmm. they've shown a crossover like before, with like that little girl, right? With it's yeah. it's in it's yeah in, it's like, in it's in Super Tom. <laughs> What is her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what? what's her name? Oh. Arale. Arale. So that's because that's another Toriyama thing. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they they can do crossovers within, like, that. Within but... Shonen Jump, hopefully. Mm hmm That would, would really be cool to see, like, an actual, like, anime crossover. Mm hmm They've kind of done a few things before. I've seen, like, a, a Tori one... Toriko, One Piece, and Dragon Ball have all crossed over with each other. Yeah, so... They had two specials. Yeah. Not that it would really affect the plot here, but it would be cool to see a crossover. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Do you want to call it good for this one? Yes. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, discussion. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye.